Summary of a Child Called It by Dave Pelzer. The story starts in 1973, when Dave Pelzer was in the fifth grade and living in Daly City, California. He was helping his mother, Catherine Rohr of Pelzer, with her morning chores. Dave's mother hits him, and Dave thinks about all the times she has hurt him. Dave is sent to see the nurse at school. The nurse sees all of the cuts and bruises on his body and tells the principal. The principal then calls the cops. Dave is taken away by a police officer. At first, Dave thinks he is being jailed. But the cop tells Dave that he is finally free from his mother and will never have to see her again. Dave has a flashback to when he was a young boy growing up in California with his two brothers, Ronald Pelzer and Stan Pelzer, in the late 1960s. Dave loves his mom and dad, who is a fireman and works long hours. Mother is a kind, loving person who takes very good care of him. But as time goes on, mother starts to drink more. She also hurts Dave more and more in front of him. One night, while father is out, mother hits Dave and hurts his arm very badly. Mother takes Dave to the hospital and says that he fell out of bed, which is not true. She later makes Dave say I'm a bad boy over and over, and even though Dave is a smart student, she makes him repeat the first grade. Dave has noticed that his mother isn't as mean to him when his father or brothers are around. But father does not do anything to stop mother from hurting Dave. When mother tells Dave he won't get any Christmas gifts, father buys him a few anyway. However, Mother gets so mad at father for going against her power that Dave thinks father won't stand up for him again. Dave learns over time that the only way to get away from mother's abuse is to wait, hoping that father, Stan, or Ron will come home. The abuse from mother gets worse. She takes good care of Ron and Stan and has another kid, Russell. But she won't feed Dave and hits him often. She also stops calling him Dave. At school, Dave's director calls his mother in to talk about why he always gets bruises. Mother takes Russell to school and tells the director that Dave has a vivid imagination and hits himself to get attention. This makes people feel sorry for her. Soon after that, mother makes Dave eat Russell's poopy diapers. Dave says no, so his mother puts poop all over his face. She stops when Dave's dad, Ron, and Stan come home. Dave doesn't get regular meals from his mother, and she makes him wear the same clothes to school every day. Dave starts to smell bad, so he thinks he needs to steal food to stay alive. He takes food from his friends and then from a grocery store nearby. He also takes frozen lunches from the restaurant and picks food scraps out of the trash at home. But mother puts rotten food on purpose in the trash and then sprinkles ammonia in the trash to keep Dave from eating any of the leftovers. Dave comes home from school one day having eaten stolen frozen lunches, and his mother makes him throw up. She shows father the puke later, and he watches without emotion as mother makes Dave eat his own vomit. Then, Dave's mother makes him sleep under a table and then in a shed. She also makes Dave drink ammonia, which burns his tongue and gives him terrible pain all night. One night, mother has a lot to drink and points a knife at Dave. Dave sees mother stumbling towards him out of the corner of his eye. He then feels a sharp pain in his chest. Mother has stabbed him, he realizes. Mother puts bandages on the cut and then tells Dave to go back to washing the dishes. In the days that follow, Dave won't beg mother to forgive him. He takes care of his own wound and feels very happy about staying on his own. Later. Dave's mother doesn't feed him for 10 days in a row and makes him clean an unventilated bathroom with ammonia and Clorox, which almost makes him die of suffocation. She also makes him lie in water that is very cold for hours. Dave's brothers and father do nothing to help him through these hard times. Dave doesn't feel like he belongs to the family anymore. Dave starts the fourth grade, and his mother's abuse keeps getting worse. She hits him hits him with chains, and makes him throw up and breathe in ammonia. When Dave's teachers ask him about how he looks and why he has bruises, he says what his mother has told him to say, that he had an accident. He starts to dislike his brothers, but mother still loves them. Mother has another child, Kevin, 
whom Dave falls in love with right away. One day, mother tells Dave, I'm sorry I hurt you, in a sudden way. She starts to be nice to Dave and feed him well. Then, a few weeks later, a social services worker comes to the house and asks Dave if his mother ever hits him. Dave knows that his mother has been nice to him, so he won't tell the cop the truth. Dave tells the officer a lie anyway, because he is afraid that his mother will hurt him. Dave is almost done with life by the time he gets to the fifth grade. His classmates make fun of him and tell him to kill himself, and he is starting to question that there is a god because no god would let him go through so much pain. His brothers seem to see him as the family slave and take turns hitting him. But Dave's teacher, Mr. Ziegler, is kind and respectful to him. Dave still loves Kevin, even though he is afraid that, like his other brothers, Kevin will grow up to hate him. As Christmas gets closer, Dad and Mom start to fight more and more. Father packs his bags and leaves for good soon after the holiday. He tells Dave that he's sorry he didn't do more to protect him, but adds, I can't take it anymore. After father leaves, mother sneers, now that he's gone, you're all mine. Too bad your dad isn't here to keep you safe. Dave, who is now an adult, drives along the beach in the epilogue and thinks about how lucky he has been. Since he was taken away from mother, he has gone to school, joined the service, and done a lot of great work to raise awareness about child abuse. He's most proud of having a son named Stephen, whom he treats with nothing but love. By doing this, he's broken the loop of being cruel to children, which he himself was a part of. In the last part, perspectives on child abuse, several people from Dave's life, like Mr. Ziegler and child protective services workers, talk about how common child abuse is in the United States. People need to be on the lookout for signs that children are being abused. If they don't, the horrible cycle of abuse will keep going year after year. Dave Pelzer was born in California, and Daly City was where he grew up. Stephen, who was a fireman, and Catherine, who both drank too much, were his parents. In his books, Pelzer says that his mother beat him horribly until he was 12 years old. At that point, Pelzer's teachers stepped in and got him into foster care. After that, Pelzer joined the service. In 1995, he wrote a book called A Child Called It, 1997, about being abused as a child. It quickly became a bestseller. Later, Pelzer wrote two more autobiographies, The Lost Boy, 1998, and A Man Named Dave, 2000. Pelzer is still a popular inspiring speaker and lecturer. Hope we summarized it fully and you liked it. Please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel so that we are motivated to create more videos.